I am using a new microphone stand for my webcam. I like that 45 degree angle look. I'm not using my DSLR. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass uh, using the webcam, actually. But whatever. Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate, you know, because there's thousands of people that are going to see this video. Yeah, so I just wanted to make a video because, uh, well, why not? It's been a couple of days. I'm a bit bored. I just resubbed to WoW. And it's uh, the same song and dance I've talked about for years now, literally on my channel. I'm going to be going into my fifth year on uh, YouTube. I started uh, four years ago around the time of Red Dead Redemption 2. And one of my favorite games in the world ever from anybody who remembers anything about me will know that it's the world of warcraft especially classic and not retail however with many games that come out things like the witcher 3 which is seven years old that i've never finished games like skyrim your fallout 4s i've never finished any of those games and i find i get stressed out paying 80 90 100 dollars a game just to never really finish them at all. Barely make it halfway through the game. And with a game like WoW for what I'm looking for, I don't want to really do uh, BGs all that much. I, I don't want to be competitive with uh, gear anymore like I used to. I went hardcore on my druid and I got him to 80 and some decent entry-level PvP gear. Uh, just enough to kind of muck around, if you will, in Alterac Valley for like their weekends and stuff. Speaking of which, literally, Christmas Day. Oh, it is Alterac Valley going on right now, and it and it's going on till Tuesday. Eh, well, I'll have to wait until the new year. <laughs> but the Joyous Journey is back, 50% XP gain, which was part of the reason why I wanted to maybe play a little bit, see if I can get some levels in, because as we practically all know, even with the Joyous Journey... This is a massive, massive grind. And to get to the end, just to be like, well, I just want to run around and buff people like that and give them a little flash heal and hope they're having a grand old time and pay 20 bucks a month for it. It is expensive with everything else that I spend money on. For a second there, I was like, where's my webcam? Because I'm so used to... Actually, I'm not. I'm starting to get used to switching my webcam all over the place anyways there's a few people here literally that are questing and that's why i'm having a hard time finding some of these crocolistic crocolistic whatever croc bastards yeah so that's what i have to figure out is it worth me spending 20 bucks a month on a game that, with all due respect, is never going to go anywhere on my channel. I mean, I play the latest and the greatest games, and they don't go anywhere on my channel. So imagine a game like World of Warcraft that's, like, literally almost fucking 20 years old. You think that's going to go somewhere on my channel? Sorry, the dream to be, like, 1% of what Asmongold is has gone down the toilet, you know, from day one. But I enjoy doing this. That's the thing. What I'm doing right now with World of Warcraft, the whole thing, just relaxing, talking about apps, a fuck, and lootly nothing, is literally one of my greatest joys, which is why I do it. In case some people are like, wow, man, how do you how do you do it month after month, year after year, when most of your videos ain't doing shit? It's like, well, why do I even bother? Because to spend all this time to play a game that, no offense, I probably wouldn't necessarily play on my own if it wasn't for recording it on YouTube. I knew that this would get me nowhere. Especially after all this time, you start to find what works for you. Guides, how-tos, patch notes. I mean, that's what pays on my channel. I mean, that's, that's where the gravy comes from for my mashed potatoes. So that they're not always so dry. But no, this game's a lot of fun, but like I said, you know, many times in my other videos, it's that sad, unfortunate truth that perhaps I am coming close to the end 
I'm not saying like forever. I'm not saying like, you know, some dramatic thing like this is it. I'm quitting well. Fuck this game. Fucking waste of time. No, no, it's not like that. It's just. It's not even am I getting my money's worth. It's am I getting my time's worth. The money being a small contributing factor, no doubt, even at just 20 bucks a month, it still adds up with everything else. I've been buying healthier you know, supplements and food. I'm spending a lot more money to be able to eat healthier and stuff like that as of late. And sometimes I want to play the odd game here and there on a console online. That's 12 bucks for a month. This is 20 for a month. So I can get, like, pretty good deal. Compared to WoW for a month, I can play, you know, Xbox or PlayStation online like with something? games that I don't have to keep paying every month. Plus, I still really like Guild Wars 2. Elder Scrolls Online's not too bad, but kind of still drives me nuts a little bit. I almost dropped my, my fucking Diet Pepsi. I had completely forgotten that I was using an add-on that modifies all your fucking shit. Doesn't even tell you what the keys are up here. It's a good thing I just kind of remember what they are. And that's the other thing, too, with the Paladin. As much as I love the Paladin, it's... Does it bring something to the table compared to my Druid? Because, again, Druid's been, like, my main for a couple of years... And for the first 14, 15 years, I mean, I was playing every class, every race, every faction. I was all over the place. Why do I keep looking around like my... I'm looking as if, like, my webcam is fucking hovering around like a goddamn drone. But it's not. It hasn't moved. I'm just not used to it being where it is right there. I'd show it to you, but, you know, I can't. Yeah, so we're in uh, in the wetlands. Yeah, so for the future, I don't know if I'm just going to keep making World of Warcraft videos every time I play. Is it going to be like something that I just keep doing? It's like, hey, I paid for it. I might as well record it, talk about nothing. Same old shit. But again, I treat all games that I play. World of Warcraft, American Truck Simulator. It doesn't matter the game. I treat them all like, am I still recording good? I treat them all like a gamer vlog. It's like a gaming vlog. And I know I repeat that line a lot, but it's in case you haven't seen my other videos where I've said that line. Kind of like a comedian that reuses some of his own material. As long as it's his own material, what's the big fucking deal? Right? Not everybody across the, the nation will have heard your joke, but if it gets shared on YouTube or something like that, it's like, hey, I've heard him say that joke before when I was in L.A. Great. I went to his New York show and it sounded the same. It's like, you dumb fuck. Obviously, it's going to sound the same. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now I forget what the hell I was saying. Literally, completely forgot. What the fuck was I just saying? Obviously, you can't reply. Because <laughs> it's not a live stream. And even if it was, there'd be, what, like two, three people in here? One including me. So that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, there's people that will take you with them to fucking Walmart or the dollar store. Shop with me. Clean with me. Watch me as I vacuum my bedroom and bend over in my yoga pants. Like, seriously? Nobody wants to see that shit. Well, actually, they do. That's the thing. There's a lot of people that do. I don't, but a lot of other people do. And it's funny just what kind of uh, content, you will, that people want to watch. There's a lot of wacky stuff that people want to see. You name it, it's out there. I mean, there's a girl that just talks about her bunny and she makes a living off of that, right? But it's consistent. It's always the same shit. Whereas with me, it's kind of always the same shit, but not really. It's about video games predominantly. The very odd, cringy Batman video, the odd politics news video, but I definitely don't saturate my channel with that. Although I don't really see anything wrong with doing that because Rich from Review Tech USA, Boogie2988, they all do that shit and they're doing way better than I could ever even dream of. I don't even do that well when I'm dreaming about being a fucking YouTuber. That's how bad it is. 
But here I am, just running around, whacking these moss hides for flint. Crude flint. And that's pretty much it. But this game, or any game really, I feel like almost every game is a niche thing. Like sports games, not everybody's into basketball or football or hockey or whatever. I could do with some melon juice as long as it's sugar-free, you know what I'm saying? The sugar-free juice. We don't want to a- oh, fuck me. I might be a paladin, but come on now. And he's an alpha! It's not just a regular old moss hide. It's in his name, it must be true. So if I kicked his ass... But I'm also getting my ass kicked. So I can't... I can't talk too much smack. Come on! Exorcism! My voice cracked. That's okay. It's like John Cena when he screams, his voice always cracks. I went to look at the camera and instead I looked at my portrait. It happens. But yeah, the whole downtime, the whole like fucking skit and skadoodle of the rotation of the paladin is not nearly as good as the druid. Way more downtime. Much softer. This is based on my, uh, you know, fairly recent fucking shit there. Oh, I got 14 melon juice. Num num. So that's what it is. It's I'm entering my fifth year on YouTube and I feel like I got to do something different or the same. No, more of the same as some of the stuff I've been doing or all the same. I'm not making any sense. So I do a few things on my channel. I talk about patch notes. So sometimes I'm thinking of just doing like more patch notes, reach out, talk about more games that are getting updated to keep up with that and more gaming news like, oh, check out these games that are on sale, all that kind of stuff or upcoming games. Like, did you know that Fallout 4 is getting a next gen update? You know, that kind of shit talking about that stuff. Right. And then when there's little guides to come out, I'll keep talking about them because they're the gravy on my channel, like I said. Uh, like, absolutely need that. I just got to take off my sweater because it is getting hot in here. Even though it's Canada and we were in a 3,000 kilometer wide storm and I had to shovel for almost five fucking hours. Holy sweet shit. Yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, so about all that. So sometimes I'm thinking of doing like more of the same that I've been doing, like on a higher concentration and then lower maybe some of the other aspects of my channel, like the random gameplay videos. They never do well. They're the piss and shit of my channel. So when a game comes out, any game that comes out, doesn't matter what it is. Let's say Cyberpunk comes out uh, or the next gen update comes out. I'll do like a little two to three mini series, you know, where I play for like an hour, hour and a half and 30 minute segments just to kind of showcase the game, even though it does terrible on my channel. But do it for the sake of consistency. It's almost like a review type thing, but it's more of like a first look. Hey, you know, here's what I noticed about the game. Uh, yeah. You know, like when you're creating your cyberpunk character, you know, maybe your... Maybe your penis keeps disappearing or something, you know? Just whatever, which apparently can happen in the real world too. But that's another story for another day. Don't want to get too cringy. I still want to do that, but maybe focus on less of those. So even videos like this where I just rant and rave about whatever, maybe do more or less of them. I find when I play World of Warcraft, I find when I do my American Truck Simulator games, games where I feel like I'm in my element and I'm calm and I'm relaxed and I don't have to think too much. I don't have to stress out about, oh my God, where am I going? Maybe I'll just stick to those, right? And I've pretty much always kind of done those. Same thing with the wrestling game, even though I haven't done that in a while. Uh, the wrestling series is some of my favorite ever, ever, ever. So I'd have to say, like, American Truck Simulator, World of Warcraft, and wrestling, and things that are, like, simulator physics-based, like your skateboarding game, like Skater XL or whatever, those kinds of game. Uh, I really like them, or The Sims. Anything that's simulator-relating related so 
yeah, so maybe I'll pick like three or four games or something like that, and I'll kind of bounce through them. I was maybe thinking of that like, uh, you know, WoW Wednesdays or something like that, right? I know, real original. Or uh, Wrestling Wednesdays or some stupid thing like that. I don't know. I really don't know. Saturday Simulator. You know, with like American Truck Simulator or something. Just so that there's a little bit more, not consistency, but more, I don't even know what the word is. Almost like a schedule, like a blueprint, like you know what you're going to get. Like with my channel, you do know what you're going to get, I'd like to think, but you would even more so know what you're going to get. It's kind of like when I used to live stream all the time. Oh my God, did I live stream. So I was consistent with the live streaming, but I wasn't consistent with when I was going to live stream. But actually, for a while, I was. It was like every day at the same time, uh, for the most part, right? And that's maybe where it may have hurt me. I don't know. But I know some people like Rich from Review Tech USA. He just fucking streams whenever, I believe. And he's got no problems getting a thousand plus people in his streams at a time. So, who knows? But I may try something like that uh, in the near future, where maybe I live stream once a week or twice a week for like a half hour to 45 minutes or something like that. And it's always going to be like one or two games. Uh, you'll never really wonder what it is I'm going to do. Maybe I'll never live stream a new game. I'll always do those on my own. Maybe it'll always just be World of Warcraft, American Truck Simulator again, or like a wrestling game, something where I can talk a lot and I can pause. There's a lot of downtime in a good way in a game like World of Warcraft and in a game like uh, wrestling, actually. I really wouldn't be able to do that, truth be told. I'd have to constantly keep pausing the game. Whereas here, I'm not I'm not pausing the game. I'm just kind of stepping out of the action for a moment. And I did it again. Where the fuck is my bubble? It's not purified. It's not divine protection. It's the real bubble. Is it divine protect? Ah, fuck, I don't remember. I mean, I can still get distracted a little bit. I, I still overshot my, my look. I looked over the webcam where it's not actually placed. I'll eventually get, like, my <laughs> my eye hand, or not hand, my eye coordinate, you know, the muscle memory thing, where, like, I turn and it's, like, bang, like, right on with my eyes. Like, you could see. It won't be, like, you know, like I'm looking around for a fly on the wall. Speaking of which, there was a mosquito, not quite a fly, but a mosquito. A mosquito in the middle of fucking December. What the fuck? And I was like, what the hell is that thing doing flying around? I mean, I know what it was doing, but I was like, where the hell did it come from? You know, like a spider or something like that. That's understandable. It's a fucking spider. They're everywhere. But a mosquito in Canadian winter in the middle of December. What? I have to admit that caught me off guard. Big time. Like, I mean, big time. We need four more of these. I'm probably not even going to finish the quest, to be honest with you. But yeah. So another thing, too, and it wouldn't last forever because there's only so many characters I'm willing to level up. It comes to a point where once I'm done uh, playing a character, like in terms of the leveling, and it's just doing the odd Battleground or Alterac Valley Weekend... It's just going to be roaming around, helping lobies, giving them a buff, you know, especially like on my druid or something like that. There is no world PvP. I can't, I just, I can't deal with it. I don't, I do have the time, actually. I have all the time in the world. I refuse to invest the time to put into just this game. Now, if you were to ask me, Phil, bro, because a lot of people call me that. It's Phil, bro. It's not my last name, but apparently that's the last name I've been given by the community is Phil Bro. Or Brophil. Uh, Bovril. Brophil. Is a type of beef pout. Anyways. Don't ask. My brain. Can you tell I'm ADHD, by the way? Like, does it fucking show? I think it does. So when people are like, oh yeah, that's that guy that's on disability. Really, it's kind of funny. I could never tell. No, just listen to him speak for five seconds and you'll be able to tell. Right? Just because I'm not like, ah, uh, like that doesn't mean that I'm not. Now, where was I going with this? I forget. Oh, where I could go like on a routine, like uh, maybe like twice a week or two, three times a week or something, maybe once a week. 
depending on how well it went, I would do that whole, like, you know, that routine that I would do on a daily basis, right? I'm actually almost tempted to do that now, uh, to be honest with you. How far in, in, how far in, in, into my recording? I'm 20 minutes in. That's not super long. That's like a South Park episode. I do have to go for the din, -din soon. I think I'm going to wallop this guy upside the head. And I'll show you what I mean. I mean, you know what I mean. I just figured I'd show you what I mean. 20 minutes in. So this guy would be holy protection, by the way. And it would just be for shits and giggles. It would just literally be to roam around and and do uh, absolutely nothing. Like, like, there wouldn't be any gearing, really. Like, I would do my Alterac Valley whenever that comes out, which is like every six to seven weeks or some shit like that get caught up on some gear if a new season comes out to sort of like refresh because i wouldn't need the latest and the greatest i could be naked you know what i mean if i flash like heal like not flash because that was wrong get it that was that was really poor choice of words i was like if i'm naked and i flash you what no because if i was naked I'd... anyways let's just stop right there this guy see he's matching he's looking pretty good I bought that shit off the auction house. This is what I want to show you that I want to be able to do. And I can already fly epically anywhere. Haven't touched this guy in like forever. In forever, ever. Like, I mean, what the fuck? I didn't touch this guy in forever. It's pretty pathetic. Uh, we won't even look at my gear score. Fuck the gear score. Forget the gear score. But I kind of like this. Right? Because... Well, I don't kind of like this. I love this. I'm infatuated with this. It's kitty time. Don't ask me what that was. That was, uh, we won't get into that. Chat? Shit chat? Well, we can fly around chat. Should we fly around shit chat? Let's fly around the chat. Should we chat it up? Or should we go to... The Iron Forge, or so we go to Stormwind. Let's do typical Stormwind, because it's Stormwind. Everybody knows Stormwind. I mean, everybody knows Shat. Yeah, so, like, do something like this. Where I would just load, load on. Log on, and, like, not worry about... Yeah, that's right, I'm rocking it. Uh, how much honor do I got? It's been a while. Ah, huh, I almost have enough for another piece of gear. I haven't touched this guy since, like, literally a week. A fucking week. When Wrath of the Lich King Classic came out. So it's like, why did I rush? Well, just so I could get it out of the way. And I got decently geared, considering the game was only a couple of weeks uh, old. Uh, with a gear score of just over 3k. About average item level of 183. I mean, that's piss fucking low now. But within just the first week of the game coming out, it's like, cut me some fucking slack. That was pretty decent. So I just want to be able to do this. And this is also a psychological thing, too, that I want to share with you and be honest with you. Because I don't really have any friends, people that I hang out with or anything like that. And it's been like that for, you don't want to know how many years, probably longer than you have inhabited this earth. Okay? And I'm not kidding. Uh, there's that whole social is isolation thing that's always not all the... Not always the healthiest thing. And even some of the most recluse people like myself uh you know you could be on youtube talking sometimes it's not quite enough but it's better than nothing and that's why the live streams kind of gave me that felt that feeling of connection uh assuming people actually showed up to the fucking live stream obviously if i'm by myself then i just you know sound like a schizophrenic talking to himself but uh yeah this game even though i might not be interacting with anybody or actually talking to them it's that whole weird thing of knowing that I'm in a world, even though it's a fake one, it's a fake virtual world. I'm in a world with real people. There's something to be said about that for me in comparison to if I play a game sort of kind of not really similar to this. Like, you know, if I was playing Zelda Breath of the Wild or Skyrim or you know, those games, I wouldn't get that feeling. You know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I mean, because it is a bit of a weird thing. But as there's nobody here. Yeah, that makes me feel real good. 
Young Tuck? The fuck is that? Okay. Young Tuck? That's disgusting. But yeah, just roaming around. Like, do I want to pay 20 bucks a month to roam around? And just kind of do, uh, you know, some random stuff. Where I just roam, I look for random people. Just give them a buff. Maybe they're having a hard time with the quest. Remember, I mean, up for a couple of pieces you can. Not a lot of people are going to have... What the hell is it called? Heirloom gear, right? See? Look, he's a 70 dwarf. He paid for that boost, I could tell. He paid for that fucking cheap prick. Took the easy way out. I'd do the same thing if I could again. Because it's actually what I did with this druid. Because my main druid is actually a horror druid. So this one is actually the paid booster. The, the only one that you're allowed on your account. You know, it's really funny just to recap something really quick. I was afraid for the first 14, 15 fucking years of doing YouTube. Because I was afraid that I would play a game. And just kind of shoot the shit and talk. And I wouldn't know what to talk about. That I'd just be there going... Okay, so we're we're here now. We're in the duskwood. Got to watch out for those wolves. Maybe we'll just go around the bank and see if they don't see us. Hopefully we don't aggro them. Okay. Yeah. Like, literally, that's what I thought I was going to be like. Oh boy, was I fucking wrong. Like, what the hell happened? Do I even breathe? I got, like, special tubes in me to help me breathe. Because I talk so much, I don't have chance, or a chance, or time, to fucking inhale any oxygen. And by the time it starts coming in, it hits my brain, Puh! I'm breathing out, I'm spewing some more fucking shit. It's fucking wild. And this is how I really am too, that's the other thing I like to remind people i don't know why sometimes people have a bit of a persona like boogie 2988 is a perfect example with this francis character that's not really him it's not supposed to be him but there's some people that would always be like that if you know what i mean and that's because they're playing like a character they're they're over dramatizing something and there's nothing wrong with that hey whatever makes you the bacon and gravy everything always goes back to food uh whatever works works right like there's no shame in that uh but for me, I I don't like doing that. I mean, the Batman thing, it's because that's obvious. Like, I'm obviously trying to be cringy. Like, it's so blatantly obvious. And that's different. But when I'm just talking, like, whatever personality or whatever that you sense from me, uh, that's really just who I am. I'm not trying to be funny. Uh, I'm just literally just being me. Sometimes there's people in here. So this is the kind of stuff, this would be sort of the part of the routine, you know, I would just roam around. It's generally a little bit more alive than this. Could be because it's Christmas and people actually have lives and family and friends to hang out with. And just kind of see who needs a buff. Oh, and because even though you may have heirloom gear, because this is classic, this is the real fucking McCoy. This game is not a pushover. You saw how he's like, get my ass spanked real hard. Uh, on my paladin there. Just aggro a couple of mobs. Oh, fuck. So that's where I like to come in. Boom. Bing. Bada boom, bada bing. You know, toss in a little heal or something like that. And just kind of make it fun. Right? Save someone. And the amount of times that you'll get message like, Oh my god, you know, thank you so much for that. Makes a big difference. And buffs are huge in this game. Like, they're fucking huge. And the fact that I'm one of the only people in the game that can give you a good 30 minute buff and I buffed my buff I buffed my buff yeah I buffed my buff right I buffed it I buffed my buff it's 40 percent more uh efficient that's big that's like two buffs see like this guy right here watch him bam can't do much for his hairline but you know that's okay whatever we're not the hair club for men I'm one to talk anyways. Bald as a watermelon. By choice. I actually wish that I had the Dr. Phil look. But of course, I'd shave the sides. Because uh, then I wouldn't have to shave the top of my head. Every fucking day I gotta shave. It's annoying. People are dying and 
wishing that they could grow that luscious hair. Meanwhile, I'm like, bitch, how do I get rid of it? Right? What uh, radioactive fucking shit can I get near for just a couple of minutes? Just enough to not give me cancer, but to nuke my hair permanently right at the follicle. How do I go about that? Right? I'd be all up for that. Yeah, so again, this looks very boring. Very, very boring. Just roaming around, tossing a heel. I won't do it now because I'll get too distracted, but sometimes I'd be like, hey, does anybody need a help with, uh, you know, Bangladesh or any quests or anything? There's usually always someone's like, oh my god, that would be great. I would love that. Young Panther. This guy dies. If you don't fucking help him. He's a part of a quest. Meow Meow here is going to fuck him up. How are you? I'm pretty dandy. Come on, let me get back on my kitty. And you would think too, the other thing that I've been asked maybe only a couple of times in the moment is does this shit not get boring? No, because you're never going to run into the same people twice. Right? It's like if you live in your own neighborhood, even in your own neighborhood. I mean, you have a higher chance of bumping into some of the same fucking people if they live in your neighborhood, like your goddamn next door neighbor. But for the most part, if you just roam around in the real world, you'll never really kind Oh, he's already a fucking druid. You'll never uh, banana split. Seriously? You'll never really bump into the same person twice. Kind of the same thing like that. We're going to see Banana split again. We might see his brother or sister Orange crush. You know what I'm saying? You see what I did there? But we're not going to see the Banana again. I'm just going to leave that one alone. But yeah, just roaming like this. Uh, you've got all of Outlands now. Now you've got all of Northrend. You've got the original Azeroth to go through as well. You're bound to just run into some people. Maybe some people will be in the chat asking for help. You go and you help them out. And people remember you as time goes on and stuff like that. It can make for great fun. And then it's like going for a drive. But instead of going for a drive, you're going for a ride. On a fucking, you know, saber. Fucking storm saber. A swift storm saber at that. And the cool thing about the paladin. Along with the death knight. Is... As long as you've got on a pale horse or whatever it's called, you'll get that 20% faster mounted movement speed. So anywhere you go on that, blah, 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 like it's so much faster. It's 20%. And that makes a huge difference, like a huge difference. Like it's massive. It's 20%, literally. I can't even tell you. Like right now I'd be by that big fucking tree over there. And I'm not. Because I'm not a paladin. So that was the other thing that I thought would have been cool is to be able to juggle between two characters that I'm not really going to gear up except for Alterac Valley weekends. And, um, yeah. I mean, right now, there's really not a lot going on at all. Like, literally, there is fuck all going on. There's not a lot of people. There's a decent amount of people on the server, just not going on right now. And it's usually busier than this. I recall like years and years ago, right on Christmas Day, and there was so much going on. I am getting tired of wearing this. Hat is making me itchy. And I'm not blind. I only wear it because it helps me see like finer detail. Like if there was like a little gnome bastard hiding somewhere in there. See, like I can tell that's an elephant. I mean a tiger. Uh-huh. I only have a mild astigmatism. Oh my god, this feels so much better. Oh, it's probably a panther. Yeah, Shadow Maw Panther. Yeah, so this may be very boring to watch, just like roaming around, picking a random zone, see what's going on or what's not going on. There being no world PvP because it literally doesn't exist on this server. I do have a high-level Torn Death Knight that is on a PvP server. But I don't, again, want to invest the time in him to make him like a big brute that can just go around doing world PvP. It'd be more entertaining, but it also has to find a balance with what do I find entertaining, right? 
if my heart and soul is not in it, you're going to pick up on that. Like, if I was miserable, oh, it's so fucking boring. It's like, why am I even bothering? You're going to pick up on that, and it's going to make your watching experience even worse. I'm not saying that this is great to begin with, right? I'm not exactly the, the bar setter there. Unless you want to talk about how low the bar is. But it's all about having fun. Literally. I've said that at the very beginning of when I made my YouTube channel. And I'm saying it now a little bit uh, four years in. If you're not having fun, you're fucked. You really, really are. Oh yeah, I remember that NPC. I used to bonk her in the fucking head. Oh, and I forgot. That's right. It'll flag me for five minutes. Yeah, because the chances of some high-level horde being on the server in this spot within the next five minutes, very unlikely. Watch me get ambushed by a fucking undead rogue. But yeah. There's a few hot spots. Stranglethorn Vale being one of them. This is where we are. There's Hillbrad's Foothill. The Plague Lands. A couple of other places. Oh, and like I was saying earlier, kind of like when you go for a drive, it's, except I'm going for a ride on a Storm Saber. It's it's going for a cruise. It's always going to be the same streets, right? So it's going to be the same shit, the same world. But you're not always going to run into the same things, the same people. Rather. And that's where potentially that can make it fun. And that's why I figured it was worth me investing $20 to come back, give it a shot for a month. Today's terrible day. This is can't say the deadliest can't even speak this is the quietest it's been ever and hopefully there wasn't like a mass you know movement or whatever of people transferring fucking servers or some shit i forgot that in wrath of the lich king you can come here see like that little Much that little fucking interaction right there is what i'm talking about 80 oh you gotta be fucking kidding me no <laughs> Epic fucking fail. Well, there you go. Leaving on a high note. I had to make it somewhat. And where the hell's my god? There, there's my barks. Normally it's over here. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Nobody saw that. I could edit that shit out. You'd never even know what happened. Oh, fuck. I was going to go to, uh, not Thousand Needles, but, well, maybe Thousand Needles later. I was going to go to the Barrens and then maybe go into Ashenvale, see what's going on there. And that's really just what it is. Who knows? Honestly, there's more action in American Truck Simulator. I mean, you're just driving around. Nothing's really going on there, really. Uh, there's more going on probably in WoW. But in terms of what you're expecting, there's probably more going on in... Uh, American. Oh, see? Right there. Anyone needing to do Big Game Hunter for Bangladesh. But because I'm leaving, I'm selfish, I'm hungry, fuck them. Uh, but that's the kind of stuff that I would like to answer the call to. And just kind of enjoy the world. Really. Literally. Without getting too, uh, you know, invest into the gear and getting too wild like I used to. Because that's too time consuming. So who knows? But going into January, it's not a New Year's resolution. It's just I'm going to be entering my fifth year, half a decade. I, I need to figure something out that I can prune out out of my channel and add more of something that I had already been doing. Kind of see if I can balance things more, a little bit more gameplay, less gaming news, maybe more gaming news, less gameplay, or maybe some gaming news while I'm playing game. I don't fucking know. I got to figure something out because I want to make a little bit more money monthly. Just a little bit more. Anyhow, as always, if you liked the video, thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel, the algorithm. If you didn't like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half and twist it, as always. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, obviously, that would be fucking great now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now. I'm going to end it before I fall off again because the boat's here now. All right. And you'll never know if I did it either, if I fell off or not. You'll never know. Bye for now.